So, imagine you are your favorite copyright attorney, choir member, going to a normal, peaceful social activity on Tuesday evening with the University of Luxembourg Adult Choir. And as you are walking out the door, you get a message. You get a, an email notification. An important message has come through from YouTube, and it is labeled copyright. Well, I had just finished publishing my little two-minute and three-second uh, Ramesh Cavalcade video that you just saw. So I... I knew that there was a chance that if I posted that video on my personal YouTube channel, that I would get some kind of a monetization claim because of the music that was played in the background. I, I recorded, you know, the parade in part, you know, little shots here and there. And that particular audio track came from that recording. And then I just doubled it, looped it, and made a video out of it. You know, I try to be a little bit creative about it. But I figured, you know, if I used somebody else's audio, there was a real good chance that I'd get at least a monetization claim, but usually nothing more. You know, YouTube's got this copyright check system now, and before I publish the thing, it'll check. So it checked, and it didn't give me a copyright claim, but then, of course, I'm walking out the door. So I get this message. Copyright takedown request received for your YouTube video. And of course, that's the, that's the title that I got. Like I, you know, that's what pops up on your phone. So then I have to read further. Hello, we received the copyright infringement notification below regarding your videos. We believe your content is protected by fair use, fair dealing, or a similar exception to copyright protection. We are writing to let you know we do not plan to remove your videos at this time. What do you mean? There was a copyright takedown request, and you didn't take my video down. This is YouTube. I have had trouble with YouTube, and, well, not really copyright so much as their ad policy. I've had trouble monetizing my videos and growing my channel, and most of my videos have not gotten any kind of viral attention or anything, but that's, that's the vast majority of videos. I don't expect it, but once in a while, once in a while, there should be be a reason why one of my videos gets promoted, but there hasn't been recently. And I, I think it's because of YouTube's adpocalypses. So I'm not inclined to assume that YouTube will go to bat for me, that YouTube will defend me and my channel in any way. But here we are. We do not plan to remove your videos at this time. You have control over the availability of videos on your channel, including the ability to delete them if you choose. Which, I, you know, is that, feels a little bit intimidating. Uh, what do you mean if I choose to delete my video? So what, like, it's okay to delete your video if you think that you didn't make a fair use and we're wrong? This is YouTube. Now, I'm a copyright attorney, as you know, and I'm not sure that this fair use, fair dealing evaluation that YouTube's done in this case would be going through a non-legal department. I'm assuming that there's you know, professionally trained, maybe not lawyers, but maybe there are people trained by YouTube's lawyers to identify fair use, and maybe they have a system of having more than one person check it or something. I don't actually know how this works. If someone does, I'd love to, I'd love to hear more. But, um, I'm thinking someone from YouTube had to make this decision. Especially when you see what was sent. Further correspondence. It continues. Please be advised, it is possible the copyright owner will approach you directly to request removal or take other action. This email is not intended as legal advice. If you are interested in more information regarding your options in this matter, you may wish to consult a qualified attorney. I did. Please note the complainant's physical address and phone number have been redacted from the copyright infringement notification below. This is what YouTube received. This is what a, you know, semi-current copyright infringement notification uh, confirmation looks like. So you submit using YouTube's form. 
So this person sent uh, a copyright infringement notice for the entire video. It doesn't say anything in this initial takedown what the problem is other than entire video. So it sounds like someone's claimed my entire video. Then YouTube writes back, Hi, we require a more detailed description of your copyrighted work. We won't be able to process your request until you have provided us with this information. We encourage you to provide whatever specifics you feel will be useful. Information such as the title of the work, the type of work, its author's name, the date of creation of the work, a copyright registration number if registered, and or the specific timestamps at which your work appears in the video in question will greatly assist us in processing your request. Thank you very much for your cooperation, the YouTube team. And then there's like this sentence of a message. It's just a partial message. It says, hi, attached, please find my photo that appears in the video. Thank you for your attention to this matter. So the first takedown didn't work. So now we're going to refine the takedown to a photo that appears in the video. And this, this could be possible. Well, I've made videos about how you can only use photos under certain circumstances. So maybe I misused a photo. I don't think so. I think I'm in the right on this one. I think I'm clearly in the right on this one. So does my attorney. But that's all we get. So YouTube responds again. Hi. We are concerned that your copyright notification may not be valid for some or all of the videos identified in your notification. Please keep in mind that in many countries it is legal to use copyrighted works in specific ways without the owner's authorization, particularly for a transformative purpose such as news reporting, parody, commentary, or review. Some countries protect such uses under doctrines of fair use, fair dealing, while others allow for specific exceptions to copyright protection. Learn more about fair use in the United States. If you still believe your copyright is infringed by the YouTube videos identified in your notification, please explain in detail why you think so. We ask that you provide more detail than was included in your initial notice. Here are questions you may wish to consider. How much of your copyrighted work is used? How is the market for your original work affected by this use? Does this use significantly transform your original work, or does it serve the same purpose? Does this use fall into an exception to copyright protection? Please note that we may share your response with the uploaders. Thank you very much for your cooperation, the YouTube team. Then another message comes through. Please see the attached draft complaint, which will be filed in court if the video is not taken down in the next two days. Thank you for your attention to this serious matter. What? I just quick, so at this point I had a million questions. One, why is YouTube defending me? But great, I guess. That's nice that I don't have to do my own defense. Awesome. Um, why does this person think I can't use a photo for a few seconds while I'm describing a story about them? I, I remember specifically choosing a photo that was owned by them so that I wouldn't be using like, you know, the photo of the prison to describe the prison. You know what I mean? Also, YouTube is telling this person that they need to understand copyright. That's going to be really, really, really uh, kind of uh, ironic in this case. But what the heck, man? Please see the attached draft complaint. Why would why would there be why would there be a draft complaint? Why would there need to be a draft complaint? And is that draft complaint against me? Is it against YouTube? I don't know. They didn't send me a copy. I um haven't asked for a copy maybe i could do that youtube writes back hi thanks for your message however we remain concerned that your copyright notification is not valid for some or all the videos identified in your notification as a result the content will remain live on youtube to learn more about copyright you may visit youtube's copyright center if you still think this copyright removal request is valid you may appeal now i've received that copy and that's it i don't know when these were sent i don't know if it was months ago weeks ago days ago i'm assuming this didn't all happen at one time you know youtube had this back and forth on one day or one hour or something like that no i, th I think this would have been over a period of days or weeks and i don't know the status of any appeal but i have had my eyes 
and Google alerts and case search alerts, court listener alerts, um, peeled for anything that happens. And uh, I've already lawyered up. Uh, believe it or not, lawyers know lawyers. So I just had to reach out to a, a good friend and uh, he'll he'll be he'll be happy to defend me if things came to that. And that's uh, and that's that's where we are with that. Let me go back and look at your uh, your messages here. The email reads in such a passive aggressive manner. Yeah. Yeah, that's this person's style, I think. Tactical is surprised that YouTube checked it at all. Uh, me too. Me too. Uh, I did not expect that my channel had reached a level where they would manually review anything. I figured it would just go through and then I would appeal and then it, it would get it would get dealt with through the normal DMCA counter notification process. There are a few common offenders I could think of. Not going to try to guess. I think we, I think you can guess. It's okay. I hope it's against you too because California has a good anti-slap. New York also has a good anti-slap. Uh, so yeah. So the I guess drum roll please. The big reveal. Your um, your your favorite uh, copyright attorney's DMCA takedown um, filer is none other than.